Michael Boyce is a student at the University of Nevada, Reno, with a passion for creating art. As he prepares to move on from college with his future in art uncertain, Michael took time to reflect on his artistry that he considers to be a very important part of him. Um, I consider art to be a very important part of my identity. It, it definitely defines who I am as a person. When I'm sitting alone at home, it just it encompasses me. You know, I'm more of a painter than anything. I've done photography, I love it. It's so much fun to just capture things, but at the end of the day, I'm a painter. I think it's much more honest. When you take a photo, you capture the world as you saw it. When you make a painting, you capture the world as you perceived it. Michael's paintings often fill portions of his apartment at any given time but his most recent painting currently gets the most attention from visitors. In this piece I'm trying to depict that we are just colors in the cosmos that are just kind of dancing matter. So I took very neutral and base tones that you would find in your skin and it drips from her and I took different greens, purples, blues and reds and just smudged them across her face as she effervesces into the void behind her. When starting a painting, Michael goes through a regular routine. He's currently working on a painting based on a photograph he took of his best friend. So I'm very organized about my painting. I need to have like a clean surface. I need to have space around me. I can't just kind of go at it. But right now I'm just setting down my linseed oil, which helps activate the oil paints. So for oil paintings, you have to remember that they're always done in layers and you have to give them time to dry. They're very opaque, and you need for them to lay on top of each other. So Despite Michael's preference for painting, by no means does it keep him from working with different mediums. This past semester, he took a black and white photography class that allowed him to explore different skills, but his most proud work comes from his work in visual design. One of my earliest um, series that I've ever done, and one, of, one that I'm very proud of, was actually inspired by acid. I titled it Lucy. And in that, I kind of wanted to show the ways that you feel when you're on acid and the different cycles that you can go through. A week and a half Michael does not shy away from his sources of inspiration and attributes his drug use to his artistic discovery. I think I knew I was an artist concretely the first time that I took acid. Mm, it changed my life. It really opened me up and showed me that I really just wanted to express my feelings through visual design. I wanted people to see what I felt. And Michael has done just that. But as for his own unique art style, he acknowledges it's not set in stone and is always sure to remain humble. I will always be trying to get better. I don't think there's ever a time in any artist's life where they're like, okay, yeah, I'm there, you know? But during this interview, I kind of just realized that I don't have one certain style. I'm very influenced by what I'm going through at any part of my life. And that's kind of heartbreaking. You can look at any artist and they have a style. Maybe I'll come to that one day. Maybe I'll grow into it. But right now, I'm just not done experiencing life and I'm not ready to pick what I want to do. I want to pick what's influenced me the most. There are way too many beautiful things out there in the world and there are way too many beautiful ways to see it.